The roaring engine, the smell of exhaust from a plane that is no ordinary aircraft. Without this airplane, I mean, we, the country, the world wouldn't be what it is today. It's a time capsule to June 6th, 1944. This C-47 led the group of hundreds of planes at Normandy 77 years ago Sunday. Named That's All Brother, it dropped paratroopers into occupied France, evacuated the wounded, and dropped supplies. These are people, young men, who put their lives on the line. For some of these young men jumping from the plane, it may have been their first or even their last mission. Here is the door that these paratroopers, men aged 18, 19, 20, younger than me, would have jumped out of. Now let's climb up as they would have. Not as easy as it looks, especially carrying all those pounds of equipment they were. Just think about how terrified they must have been feeling before they jumped. That night it must have been pitch black, the engines deafeningly loud, and they're jumping into enemy territory with German troops shooting at them. It makes me want to cry how, how frightened they must have been. The plane dropped the paratroopers from 500 to 800 feet through fog, darkness, and enemy gunfire. Over the weekend, you could see this famous and historic plane flying over Lubbock. Inside the plane, it's loud, and the turbulence could knock you over. It gives them a physical, tangible thing that they can reach out and touch and maybe take a ride in and really understand what that journey across the channel meant and what that invasion meant to the people that actually flew these aircraft. After the war, it was sold and fell into disrepair, but the commemorative Air Force poured millions into fixing it up so that the plane is flying again almost 80 years later. A testament to the courage and to the sacrifice of the men it carried into combat. World War II veterans, there aren't that many left to share their story and this aircraft can live on and actually help tell that story.